Okay. I'm Hannah Stanger. I'm Hannah Sanford. Hannah Herod. And we're presenting towards the World Health Organization. Our disease that we want to focus on is Lyme disease, and it, we believe the disease should be take more focus on, and that it's a serious problem that we think needs to be handled. All right, so the main factors of this problem are um, the ticks carry the disease, um, the animals and humans are the ones that are affected in it. Um, so the environment is like where the type of environment is kind of like forest, so, and the weather in the area is a big factor because the different seasons are when the different like ticks come, when those ticks start coming out in like springtime. So that's when the disease starts to focus. Okay. Addressing the main factors, we'll have to kill the ticks off so they can stop infecting the other organisms. And then we're going to have an antibiotic to get rid of the disease in the animals that infect the ticks and the humans that the ticks infect. And once the infected ticks are infected, the infected ticks are out of the picture, then we think that it's not going to be as much of a problem anymore. The, some strength, so strengths and weaknesses. The strengths in the, are the antibiotics and when the ticks are most present, like in the summer when it's most like warm outside. And the weaknesses is we haven't figured out completely to stop the ticks from binding infected animals and to get the disease they have to pass on. The current solutions. The humans have antibiotics and they can self-treat them with ibuprofen and the animals have antibiotics and vaccines for prevention. The animals that are affected are dogs, cattle, gray squirrels, white-tailed mice, white-tailed deer, mice, and um, raccoons. All right, so our solutions is we think the best decision to fix the problem is to first make a vaccination available in the seasons that it's most current in and also make a repellent available all year round. So when they go out in the woods, the ticks are killed, but it doesn't harm the other animals or plants around it as well. Okay, thank, thank you for, for watching our presentation. We, we hope you sat with, with us. us. Okay. Okay, so, um, <coughs> questions. questions right now. Questions. So I read the thing where it said that the ibuprofen would help the animals. How would that help the animals? Absolutely. It said ibuprofen will help the humans, not the animals. Oh, okay. Well, how would that help, like, with the Lyme disease? No, like, if you have Lyme disease, you can use ibuprofen to get, like, to make you feel better. Okay. So, like, pain? Yeah, like, for the pain. That was for current solutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that wasn't on there. Yeah, it was. Oh, was. Right. Uh, so, again, in terms of questions, if you have questions, you can ask them this way. There you go. Um, solution was again. Oh, our solution was that we were going to make a vaccination so that way you can get it during that season and then also a repellent that's focused for all year round protection. Do you have a flu shot? Vaccination and repellents. Um, I want to keep you guys in mind. I'm keeping track of who has some questions and I'm also keeping track of who's talking about it for sure. Okay. So, mystery, additions, and subtractions are great. Um, Alright, so in terms of the propellant and vaccination, I think they currently tried to do anything with vaccinations. They have vaccinations for animals, but not for humans. Are you looking for why they have for animals? Because animals are infected.
obviously it is just I mean you all said it affects you pretty bad, right? Yeah. So have you all I guess we just haven't looked yet to um, why animals are best in the I would want my like my sister and my brother to get this right. So I would want to definitely if I was going to be a child more fun, something that gets the best thing. Um that's my question to you. I'm not trying to stop you. We haven't, but we think that they should get vaccinated. Is there any more questions? All right, no more questions. Thank you, ladies.